Hey, don't know how you found me, but it's me, Van, and welcome to Hello Charlotte Episode 1, Junk Food, Gods, and Teddy Bears. I am so thrilled to finally get my hands on this. All I know about this game is that you're a puppeteer controlling our beloved Charlotte here. But that's about it. I don't really know anything else plot-wise. I made a poll after Witch's Heart to see what game should be next, and this one won. If you guys want to get involved, then you're always welcome to whenever a new poll comes out, and I will leave them up for a long time. But enough of my rambling. As usual, content warnings will be in the description, and without further ado, let's begin. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it has ceased to exist, and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died, and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order, and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form noise in my head, Will you be so kind as to join me in dream seeing? Hello Charlotte, Episode 1. Junk Food, Gods, and Teddy Bears. Hello Charlotte. Roll credits. Ooh, she's already talking to us. Aw, she is so cute. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. I wonder if it should be squeakier. We'll see. This is my room. It's rather... minimalistic. What a lackluster design. Um... I'm gonna do this. Quite modern, don't you think? Let's go to the dining room. I'm hungry. Okay. I mean... Oh, I see. Let's look at our stuff. We have the Book of Truth. Oh. The Puppeteers, this guy. Known type, Seth type, Lilith type. Live in the true realm, purpose, control, and direct. Assigned to humans only, probably. Um, NB can rewind time when the puppet dies? Okay, the Observers. World government members were animal skull masks, gnome representatives, umbrella man. Alrighty. The puppets, also known as humans, live in false realm. Purpose. To err. Known representatives, me, mom, dad, classmates. Not so sure. The aliens pretend to be human to cause less ruckus. Live in false realm. Known representatives, Huxley, Bennett, Aiden, politicians. I am very confused. <laughs> Band-aids, scabbles, notes, tea bags. Everything is such a mess. Okay. I don't want to sleep yet. User log might be useful. Okay. One, look out for puppeteer symbols. Two, only the users with X in their names have access to all doors. Okay, what is this? Current user has restricted access to the, to the teleport Omnicube. Oh. Current user has restricted access to the data Omnicube. Please input your inquiry. Okay, let's look at all of this. I'm very curious. The screen store user data and monitor user activity. Absolute rule, screens must not be turned off. Current user, Charlotte, is expected to follow the absolute rules implicitly. We are not responsible for bodily injury, including dismemberment, mental disturbances, or other harm to the user's well-being caused by infringement of the rules listed above. Huh. Okay. Omnicubes. Omnicubes, short for omnipotent cubes, are multitask devices that allow the transportation, duplication, creation, or disintegration of organic matter and the storage of data. 
please do not put liquid soap inside the Omni cubes, as it might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. Okay. Uh, tenants. Please choose a category to read current user's observation notes. Charlotte. Current user who is yet to complete the educational program. Is Charlotte a little baby? Uh, Iden? Ground Floors Butler. User note. Hobbies include sewing and taxidermy. Hmm. Okay. Huxley. A surgeon who owns an interdimensional clinic on the second floor. User note. Once ordered 30 boxes of duct tape for unknown purposes. Hmm. Alrighty then. I like the gas mask. Uh, and the final one. Bennett. Among Us. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I am childish. Occupation and real name unknown. User note. Bennett is the name of on the badge of his hazmat suit. Oh. For all we know, he could have stolen it. Ooh. The corridor. Corridor. Corridor? The dining room. Isn't this where we were supposed to come? Uh, let's see what's here. Soap obtained! Not even our dining room's drawers have anything edible. The last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with the sugar and the salt. Some tableware inside. Okay... So, no food. User log, puppet manual. Okay. The puppet control menu has four options. Stuff, tasks, rewind points, exit. Junk is stuff we throw away. Stuff is junk we keep. Tasks are daily life quests. Rewind points contain saved data of previous events. NB should be used only if the puppet dies, or if the puppeteer must leave the control console. Hmm. Exit should not be an option for a responsible puppeteer. Huh. So... Huh. Oh, user log, the house. Basement. Dissection room, tailoring room, test rooms. Ground floor, living rooms. Okay. This is all good and well. What are we meant to do here? Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call 0800 to order food from Charlie's. XOXO, Mom. This note is eight months old. My parents work on holidays. New task received, order food. Yay, we can order food. What's over here? The TV room. Watch TV. Yes, it's a waste of time. Well, hold on. Yep, I have better things to do. Is it a waste of time? Is there propaganda here? What, what kind of TV is there to watch here? Now I'm curious. All 99 channels show commercials 24-7. Next on Panopticon TV, Synthemeal commercial. Don't miss it. Switch the channel. You, and only you, can stop the world crisis. Help stop overproduction by buying things now! <laughs> Switch the channel. Organic junk food at Charlie's is the ultimate cure for obesity. Order now by calling 0800 That's enough TV for today. Yeah, that sucks. It wasn't locked yesterday. Ooh, library. This is cute. Hey, it's Charlie's Organic Junk Foods. Please place your order. Um, I'd like to order eco-friendly chicken nuggets and an insta-diabetes soda, please. I shouldn't be so nervous when talking to a machine. Thank you for ordering at Charlie's. Stay healthiest with us. Uh, okay, damn. 
Where's our front door? Wait, this is our room. I'm trying! I just went back to the library, I didn't mean it! Can I not get my food? Uh, let's look around the library more. The Golden Apples of the Sun. Physics of the Impossible. One-Hit Man. My Humble Bookshelf. Okay. Note obtained. What does it say? How to disguise yourself as human. Oh. The Nerd Lord. My fair salaryman. Astronaut Commando. This is Mother Shelf. She loves romance books. Okay. The shelves are full of literature in an alien language. I can't read the titles. Access denied. Input magic word. Oh, get me out of here. I don't know what the magic word is. Access denied, ill-mannered child. Okay, uh, can we check our note? The magic word is please, aww. Did I spell it wrong? What, what did I do? Is it that I didn't capitalize it? Yeah, it was all about the caps. What a nice girl. Access granted. Oh, we can go and open the door now, I guess. A strange hissing noise is coming from behind the door. Want me to open it? Don't open, hold on. I'll wait until they leave. Yeah, I don't trust like that. The sounds are gone now. It should be safe. Oh? What is this? Oh, lucky meal was found. I'd better return to the dining room. New task received. Feed Charlotte. I assume I would have died if I opened that door. Can we feed Charlotte now? Fact. Chicken nuggets are vegetables too. Yay! Oh, hello? What a mockery of real food. Is it all they can offer these days? Who, who are you? You guys already know. He's giving my really bad British voice, and I'm sorry to say, we're gonna settle for it right now. <laughs> what a mockery of real food. Is it all they can offer these days? You should try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. I wonder how that captures. I'm, I covered, I'm making my voice muffled for the effect. We'll see how that captures. Don't listen to him. Soap is much better than nutrition. Um, guys, do I get a say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? By the way, Mr. Iden, the door to the ground floor corridor doesn't open. It's closed for minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. If you come out at night, you might find something interesting there. Iden pinches Bennett. Ow! Stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching soap nets in the TV room. Soap operas just call for soap milkshakes. Bennett leaves. I almost forgot. Come to the dissection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. Aiden and Huxley leave too. These voices are subject to change. I don't know anything about these characters. Well, kind of. Um, can I go back outside? This is not what I meant. I forgot that the door is through the library. What? Bennett is absorbed in watching TV. Access denied. What's two plus two? Four, of course. If you are free to make that statement, then it is correct. You may pass. <laughs> what? Uh... Nothing of interest in here. Oh, there's- these are ladders. To the basement. Huh. I forgot where I put the basement key. 
the ladder leads to the first floor. Okay. No need to go outside right now. Okay, let's look around. Found the basement key. Unlock the door. Okay. Open me. <laughs> Open the box? Uh, she looks nervous. Yep, this seems fishy, though I'm still curious. It's filled with fabric. Okay. Sewing tools are stored inside. Okay. We'll get back to the box. Actually, should I save and then open it? Okay, I'm gonna save and then open it. Okay, let's do it. Charlotte opens the box. Suddenly, everything collapses into a singularity. Sudden end. Destroyed the world in less than a second. Ah! Well, it's a good thing I saved. Alright. Oh, hello! Huxley is dissecting a corpse. Presumably it was a human one. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little Charlotte. About the little talk we had earlier, can you do me a favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a couple days? I've been so busy working on the cure for the eye plague that I can't keep an eye on him at all. For all I know, he could be collecting rare specimens in broad daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see. He may have a bad attitude, but don't let that get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Ugh, I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has science to do. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi. If you want to make it through the day, don't you dare invade my personal space. Whoa, I can almost feel his glare burning into my skin. This is going to be a long day. New locations in the dissection room are available. New task received. Kill time. Yay, we have a little buddy. Oh. Move aside. The door scans the boy's eye. Access granted. Okay. Where are we? One door out of the three leads to death. Spooky. Bleh. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Monty Hall room. One out of three, huh? Well? Open the door and die! Survive and get a prize! Wow, is it for real? Want to check? I do want to check. Door one opens! Nothing happens. <laughs> Open another door? Door three opens! <laughs> Nothing happens. Got an azure ri ribbon. I can't say words today. <laughs> okay. So we're good. We don't have to open another door. Let's get out of here. Uh, what about here? I can open these. Access granted. <gasps> ah! What's this squishy? A specimen for research in an organ supply. Look, but don't touch. Uh, okay. What did I say about touching it? Oops. Charlotte is so interesting. Not with your bare hands. Ugh. Oh, okay, let's do this one. User log, the Umbrella Man. He appeared out of nowhere when I was a child. Whether I was in kindergarten or in the library, with mom or alone in my room, he was always there, watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room, not uttering a single word. When I tried to tell mother about him, he lifted a finger to his lips, as if not wanting me to speak. So I didn't. In my book of truth, I called him the Observer. As soon as I defined him, the man spoke for the first time. Oh. Interesting. 
Oh, that name is not bad, I must say, he remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who watches over you become an observer? I had to agree. Hmm. Then, I'll call you the Umbrella Man. Slightly taken aback, the man coughed. <clears throat> Although I would have preferred a more euphonic name, let it stay this way. Since then, I gave every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. Why the Umbrella Man? Why not? Is there something I'm missing about his appearance that, like, I don't know. When Mom asked who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about the Umbrella Man. Instead, I told a lie. Whew. User log, my birthday. On the day of my 10th birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A masked man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he said with the smile of a man who offers children candies. Mother told me not to talk to strangers, I answered in a determined voice. He let out a sigh. I am no stranger to you. Human memory is so ephemeral, isn't it? Even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains wear top hats. Oh, is that so? What a silly prejudice, the man commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. With those words, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than the Umbrella Man himself. Although I'd love to ta Although I'd love to have a chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are a representative of the true realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is a Seth-type puppeteer. As for their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why would they do that? You see, little one, free will is fiction. Mm-hmm. I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, this choice of words must have been too difficult for a child. Let me put it another way. Meet your new friend who will watch over you. Their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? Ah, I'm having a great, not creepy time at all. Wait here. Axis granted. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So this is where Bennett's crew works? Pretty much. Stuff usually blows up in here, so it has restricted access. Can I talk to any of you? It's Franklin. His name appears to be Baldwin. Their name on the suit label is Blanche. I like that name. This guy has Archibald written on his suit label. He's Goodwin. This person has no suit label. Ah, that's Lecter. There's Franklin. Who are you? It's Antoinette. Wow. Y'all are... So interesting. Can I get through here, though? <laughs> For real? Nothing of interest. Found tongue terror, take it. No! <laughs> Put it back. Interesting. Right. Should have known. This one's fake anyway. Okay. Can I please get around again? Oh, okay. Fine, fine, I'll go this way. User log, blank. Shh, they're watching. Huh, I have always considered a possibility of being watched. It is pretty plausible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. K. 
Okay, so we did all we could here. Oh, tailoring room. Aiden loves order. Even his mannequins are in place. Yet another polka dot dress. A simple black and white dress. Want to try it on? What do you take me for? A dress-up doll? A polka dot dress. Hi, Mr. Aiden. Being a busybody as always? Hello, dear girl. There's a dress I want you to try on if you don't mind. I'd love to. I put on the dress the tailor made. No. Whoa, it's totally rad. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Aw, I love him. I really do. But I guess I can't interact with with the screens in the back, can I? And I can't go around him. Alrighty then. Uh, sorry. Cooking is no good. I'm afraid I'll blow up the kitchen this time. Who said that you'll be cooking? I can make things myself. What would you like? How about cottage cheese casserole? Carrot cupcakes it is then. Hello? Wow. Where to now? I guess we can talk to him now, can we? Bennett looks sad. Hi, Bennett. Are you dead or something? After a thousand thirty-seven episodes and ten specials, they finally confessed their undying love to each other. Underneath my protection suit, I'm dying from complicated feelings. Let's leave him until he's ready to return to the harsh reality, shall we? Big Sis is going to sleep. How about you? I do not require sleep. I'll grab a bottle of soap and measure your brainwaves while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. I suppose I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom? No way in hell. Go to sleep already. Good night. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, Seth. Something slimy crawls into the room. Hide, don't hide. Uh, let's hide. What, not- oh. Oh, I thought she went under the bed. Uh, let's see what that does. Charlotte hides under the bed sheets. Brow! <laughs> oh, hey, Mad Cat. You've scared my puppeteer here a little. One day, my cat turned into a maggot. Or, was he a maggot all along that turned into a cat? Brow! The Mad Cat states as it makes itself comfortable on my bed. Good. Good cat. Charlotte pets the Mad Cat. It purrs. Charlotte falls asleep peacefully. Oh! Okay. What was that sound? Felix promised to come back soon, too. Did he get lost in the house? How about we go look for him? Please be careful. Consider taking pepper spray. A flamethrower would be more effective, don't you think? Uh, let's go see if everything's alright. Do I go to... through here, to the front door? Oh. Felix is not here. What is the meaning of life? If only I knew. Oh, we just can't go through here. Okay. Hello? The cover glass is missing, go in. Give me a sec. What is happening? The door won't open. No! Give me a little second to see what's going on here. Felix is not here. The poor bastard. Felix is not here. Hey, it's the normal TV room. Bennett is snoring in his sleep. Okay. Uh, 
I guess this is our option. <sighs> Let's do it. Felix couldn't have gone here, could he? What is this place? I don't remember our house having a direct passage to a prince's castle. It's too dark to see anything. Okay. This isn't terrifying. What is this? Okay, I keep clicking shit. I did not mean to do that. I wonder why there are bear toys everywhere. If there's a jump scare, I'm gonna be sick. It's raining, it's pouring, the old bear is growling. Ah! These toys are kinda cute. Human taxidermy. Going wild, hunting, human rights, and congested meaning of nature. Thyroid gland, 101 festive recipes. Now this is creepy. I don't like it here. Can I take this? Thank you. That would have been a good decision to make initially, but here I am. You will find what you need upstairs. I'm so scared. What is this? Just a yellow teddy bear. Nothing scary. At all. The ultimate guide to skinning and gutting. Homo sapiens cooking with passion. Mm. A crack in the wall. A low growl is coming from it. Rain, rain, go away. Little Teddy wants to play. Is it my imagination, or did its eyes move? Human taxidermy. Uh, this is all the same. Please get me out of here, I'm really scared. Oh god. I'm nervous. Uh, okay. Oh! Alright then. That was not correct, apparently. Contrary to popular belief, I'm really bad with horror. Actually, I don't know if the popular belief was that I'm good with horror. I think it's very clear that I'm very scared. Oh. Oh, it didn't do anything. Maybe it made the door accessible at top. Oh. No. It did not do anything with the door. <laughs> I really hope that bear doesn't get released. I really, really do hope so, because... I'm very scared. Oh. And there's a pulley here, too. Oh god. Oh god, get me out of here! It killed me. Ah. <laughs> uh, bad end. Little Teddy wants to play. That's great. Um... Let's not do that. I think... I think I have to run out. And I'm not good at chase scenes. Um... <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I get so nervous so easily when it comes to chase scenes. I'm not, like, I'm telling you, I'm not a horror girly. And this isn't even proper horror. Like, imagine me playing an actual 3D first person game that has horror elements. Absolutely not, I'll die. Oh god. Okay, I made it. That really freaked me out. Is the bear gone? I don't hear the sounds anymore. Uh, let's try? I don't see the bear anywhere. Okay. Cabbages and tomatoes. It's an oven. Some pots. Some vegetables. Got a back door key. Nothing inside. A sink. It's an oven. Okay. Oh. Who is this? Dots. 
Oh! The little girl's eyes well up with tears at the sight of Charlotte. Um, I'm very sorry. Can I help you somehow? Are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? That hurts! Eve, Rhea doesn't talk to strangers. Okay. It's locked. She's very cute, though. I really like Freya's design. Oh. Huh. Of bears and men. Nothing of interest inside. Midnight's bear cubs. are these? These are rabbit toys. Take one? Why'd you need another one? Don't. I don't know if I want to do that. Unless I, it turns out I need them, but like right now, I don't want to separate them. The bear factory. Mm-hmm. The lovely honey? Okay, maybe we do have to take one of these Hush, it's cute. Obtained rabbit toy. Oh, can we give it to her? Hello, Freya. The girl's eyes light up at the sight of the rabbit toy. Want me to give it to you? I can have it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Your eyes look like egg whites. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his way in this place, too. Have you seen him by any chance? No. There's no one but Freya. I see. You must be very lonely. Ugh, Freya's fine on her own anyway. Get lost already if you're not going to stay. Heard an unlocking sound. Freya, you are my baby. I am adopting you. Ooh. Can this music chill out? I'm literally just standing here, Jesus. The window seems to open from the other side. The bearer of the key shall pass. These aren't alive, are they? I sure hope not. Don't look in the mirror. Take a break. The bear room. I hope there aren't any actual bears out there. The cat room. That sounds pleasant. Well, what do you know? There's cats in here. Don't drink from the left cup! Uh-huh. Don't drink from the right cup! Yeah. I sure saw that coming. These flowers are pretty. Enter the right fireplace. Okay. Cats do not tell lies. I need to find a key. The door is closed. I'm scared to go in this room, but here we go. Alright. I don't like it. It's dark outside the window. The teddies glare at me from the shelves. White flowers are my favorite. They have the 25th edition of the Sci-Fi Almanac. Can we take it, please? It's too heavy for you to carry. Listen, we didn't come here for treasure hunting. You can take it. Is it too heavy for Charlotte to carry? Can't you carry it? My physical body is in another realm. All you can do is order me around. Right. Charlotte puts the book back. Let's take the book. It looks like it can move any second. Well, get me out of here. I'm going to take this very literally and attempt going into the right fireplace. Oh, yep. <laughs> 
That's great. Bad end. Burned to death. What do these cups do? Am I just gonna be collecting bad endings throughout this? Let's just drink out of one of them. Drink me! I feel dizzy. Oh. I'm surprised she's alive. The fire embraces me. Oh. Would that have happened if I didn't drink? Ring obtained. We're still looking for Felix. Okay. I really don't like the shape of this. The curtains are heavy. Once upon a time, there lived three bears. A little, small, wee bear. A middle-sized bear, and a great huge bear. Mm-mm. Eat the porridge. Oh, absolutely not. The door doesn't open. I'm very nervous. There's a key under the napkin! The door doesn't open. Oh god! Can't we use something? Oh god! Oh my god, what? Oh, I got nervous, I didn't know what to do. And I can't run out. Um, I don't really like these teddy bears. Not in the slightest. I don't even think they're that cute. I'll say it. I'll be the first to say it. They're kind of ugly. Look at them. And their bulbous heads. I'm sick of them. Quite frankly. Alright, little teddy. Let's... play. Uh... what do we have? The Book of Truth... Oh! Because it's heavy? Throw the Book of Bear, yes. Phew, it worked. Never underestimate the power of words. Get me out of here. I hate that. I hate that thing. I actively hate it. <laughs> we already read that. Uh, let's see, what's here? Each had a porridge bowl, a chair, and a bed. They were honest, good-natured, trusting bears. One day, a girl came into their house. She could not have been a good, honest little girl. For first, she peeped in the keyhole, and seeing nobody in the house, she lifted the latch. I don't like that. Not at all. Sit on the chair? Mm. I know how the three bears' story ended. What about you? Uh, the bears killed the intruder. The intruder left through the window. The intruder killed the bears. Let's do this one. Yes, but we're not in a fairy tale. I don't want to go into these rooms. Sleep on the bed. If she had been a good girl, she would have waited for the bears to invite her into the house. For they were good bears. But she was a rude, bad, bad little girl. Oh no, I don't like this at all. Um, I don't want to sit in the chair. Can the music chill out? Jesus. Found a silver key. Please get me out of here. I don't want to be part of this. Um, where does the silver key go? Well, I guess I'll find out. Hello? Not this again. What's wrong? The default clock sound. Who even uses that anymore? Please, let's leave this horrible place as soon as we find Felix. Now we have to look for an exit. Um, okay. Let me try the windows. Nope. Oh, yay! Oh, thank god. 
We came, we saw, we conquered. We did not mess with the bear stuff. I do not trust like that. Um, bronze key for this? Alrighty. Mirror room. Hmm. There's a switch thing. Gone with the honey to kill a rabbit. I don't really trust this. Valley of the Bears, hibernate and grow rich. The girl with the bear tattoo. Rupert Bear, Winnie the Pooh. The life and times of Grizzly Adams. The mirror shows the future. Oh! Whoa, this feels photoshopped. What a thing to say, Charlotte. Uh... I'm really nervous. Do it turn on? Okay... The mirror shows the hidden. Unlocked the door. God damn it. I went to get a little snack and I paused the recording. I forgot to unpause it. Do not worry, you literally just missed me entering this room. Just thought I should let you know. There's nothing in here. Or is there? I don't like this. At all. Oh. Um. Hi, guys. There you are, little burglar. Choose the room you will await your punishment in. Hmm. The lion room sounds cute. But I doubt that it's good. Okay, the oxygen room sounds way too good to be true. <laughs> Let's be real. Maybe the lion room? Or maybe they're trying to fake me out and make me... Choose the torture room. Uh, let's try the lion. Oh. Uh, yikes. The lions haven't eaten for a long time. Okay. Please be good. This day can't get any worse, right? Oh. So, by torture room, they didn't mean that I'd be tortured there. This room doesn't look any different from others, though. Oh. Wow. Error. What's wrong, Seth? I'm having problems with the program. Does that mean I can do what I want? No, I simply can't access rewind menu. Oh, thank god. Thank god I saved. Well, that's too bad. What do you do? What are these? Can I click on them? Alrighty then. The channel doesn't work. Actually, I prefer this to the teddy bear rooms. No turning back. What can we do with our stuff? Did we just equip the ribbon? Oh! Oh, how cute! Oh. Why didn't it prompt me earlier? Okay. Seems like we can go in. Logic error. Ooh. Who are you? Oh, Felix? Is this you? <laughs> Felix? You... Hug him. I found you! Don't worry, Big Sis is here to help. C can't breathe! Stop this irrational display of affection this instant! Small talk aside, how did you get here? I, uh, got lost in your house. There's no way I'm buying that. Anyhow, we need a plan. I'm not going to sit around and wait until the bears use us for crappy taxidermy. The bears? What are you talking about? Weren't you captured by them too? Excuse me? I just got here and I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, you really needn't have followed. Do you even have any weapons on you at all? Only books. Seth is against violence. Please excuse me while I slam my hand against my forehead. Good thing we met up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine, I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Still, what are you really doing here? Well, 
There is a high probability of an oracle who has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happens once in several min millenniums. Sorry. <laughs> an oracle? What's that? For you, they are equal to gods. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. I won't go into details for now. It's not like your puny brain would comprehend it all. They sound like fun. What's this? Security drone, presumably. This one seems broken. Aw. Found something nice. Take it. Wait, can I save again? I can't. And I'm worried about taking things. This door is missing a doorknob. Let's look. Oh, <laughs> gives him a completely different voice. Let's look around. Opening the boxes is meaningless. Okay, let's go up first. Better not. Better not. Better not. I don't want to take any of this. I don't trust any of it. I really don't. <laughs> ah! Okay, then. Answer the questions. The door remains closed. Hall of Ignorance. Enter. Let's wait a second. <laughs> There's a lot happening in here. How about here? What is going on? Oh, what is that? Oh. What is that thing? I assume we're not supposed to interact with those. Oh god. Oh wait, does it not hurt us? Oh. Lies are written in capital letters. Noted. Okay, so the drones don't hurt us. I thought they were gonna kill us. That's a save point. Should I take any of this? I don't know. Wait a minute. There was a, a thing I could read here. Knock knock. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, have no fun. I guess we have to enter that hall now. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Hall of Ignorance. Let's get some information. Question number one. Two plus one? Oh, okay. There's a notebook that looks out of place. Read it. Once upon a time, there lived a tiny god. The tiny god created a tiny universe filled with tiny people. The tiny people created more tiny people and tiny things. Engaged in tiny wars and became tiny piles of dust. Happy end. Well, guys, that was the end of Hello Sherlock. <laughs> um... So the first question was 2 plus 1. That's three. Oh, this is a maze. This is a whole maze. They are always watching. Yay! Isn't it comforting, though, to have someone always watching you? It's so nice and reassuring. If they would just get out of my way, though. How do I get up there? Oh, here we go. Don't read. Read? Oh! <laughs> Aww. I was curious. <laughs> I didn't think I'd die from reading a book. <laughs> I have gotten out a little notepad so I can write down the answers to everything. Question number four. All right. Derivative of e to the power of five? That's just unfair. Too easy. The answer is zero. I knew that. 
I'm a smart, intelligent person who knows math things. I did not know that. Question number two. Turn nine upside down. What number do you get? Okay. Question number three. What's less than six and more than four? I forgot how many digits were in the... the little thing. I'm hoping it was four. I don't want to look again. Yay! It was four digits. So that's... Three, six, five, zero. Oh. Is it locked? Oh no, it's just open. So... I don't trust this. Am I just supposed to get rid of all of them? Well, at least I did a save before I got in here. Or before I started taking them away. Because, you know, if I want to take them, I can just go back. Ooh. Don't open. Let's try lifting it. Alright. It's too heavy for us to lift. Oh, what do you know? It actually was something good. This is nice! Should I have been taking stuff this whole time? Hold on. Obtain black hole. Oh! Yeah, no. I think I just got lucky with that first one. Yeah, if there's anything my instincts are telling me, it's that this game is evil. Let's try opening it. Found a doorknob! Yay! Get me out of here. Though I do want that back room- uh, back room? Why do I keep- <laughs> I do want that background music change, though. This is nice. This is very nice. Let's open the door. It fits! Open the door? Yes. We can save again! Yippee! Uh, what's this? Oh dear. I am drawing this. Huh. We have... Two, two, three, and one? What does this mean? Mmm. -hmm. Alrighty then. <laughs> Password required for- I didn't memorize it that well, sorry. I'll enter it then. Is it just the numbers that we saw? Oh, too bad. Oh, hold on. Are we starting at the closed die and then going that way? Or is closed die our goal? Now that I'm looking at it, I think closed die is the goal. We start at the bottom left. Go right, go up, go left, go up, go right, go up, left. Yeah? Okay. Please tell me I'm smart and I figured it out. Please tell me I'm a good little lad who can do puzzles. One, two. Yay! I, I can be smart sometimes. Congratulations. Oh. Never mind, maybe I'm not smart. Hello? His head... gone... This... this can't be... Can't we do something? It's... Whoa... It's no use. No matter what you do, he'll end up dying here in one way or another. <laughs> Who are you? The four-eyed person lets out a laugh. Stop making that face, it doesn't suit you. I'm a librarian, but you see, nobody comes to read anymore. Anyhow, there's no use crying over dead meat. How could you? I promised to look after him, yet... There, there, not all is lost, aside from this person's head, I guess. Wait, wait, don't hit me for that. What do you suggest I do then? 
Switch the channel. That's all. How would that help me? You'll see for yourself. Perhaps you'll get lucky enough to change history. Why should I trust you? I'm not telling you to do something unthinkable, am I? Besides, I am quite knowledgeable about how this place works. Ah, uh, sorry. I am enjoying myself too much. It's the first time I've talked to an actual person in years. The door's open. Aren't you in a hurry? Right. Goodbye, then. Bye-bye. Be careful if you meet the executioners on your way. They won't be nice like me. Damn! This is so messed up. We just... We just found him. Charlotte averts her eyes. I am so sorry. Enter the TV? Yes. That sucked. I can't save. Waiting room. Oh. Well, there I go. Uh, that was terrifying and totally not upsetting at all. Uh, what are we going to tell his uncle? Or was it his dad? I think it was his uncle, right? What are we going to tell that guy? Oh no. I feel really bad. Well, I guess we'll find out in the next one. <laughs> so far, I think this game is stylistically really cool. But yeah, Charlotte is very cute. The cast is interesting. I still don't know what's going on. But anyway, if you made it to the end, thanks. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.